We've got a very special guest with us joining us for our very first show. Editor-in-Chief from Women's Day, Cedo Kitchen, is with us for our very first show. Thank you so much for coming in. It's an honour to be here. It's lovely to have oh, you here. Very first day. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Now you're going to come in every single Monday. You're going to spill the dirt on what's going on in the celebrity world. Yep. I'm going to give you the goss from Women's Day. Not all the goss, because I want you guys to go out and buy that magazine. Oh, there magazine, we go. That one. It's a nice great. Basket, isn't it? It's yeah. great. We love it. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> okay, so then let's talk about the big news this week then. Yes, well, they say never work with children or animals in the water magazines, probably in TV too, but I've, I've ignored that, and there's about 350 babies in this issue. Really? It's our baby special. Well, no, not really. But a lot it's, of but babies. there's a lot of babies. A slight exaggeration, but it's jam-packed. So we've got our annual baby special. So gorgeous, gorgeous little cherubs in the magazine from beginning to end. So on the cover, we have Ali Pugh, the TVNZ presenter, who's due back at work soon, but she can't, can't uh, bear to tear herself away from that gorgeous little girl, Thea. So uh, she's delayed that till July, actually. That is hardly surprising because that is a beautiful little baby. And your try first baby, it's quite oh. special. Oh, try and choose photos. This little baby was laughing so wonderfully and every photo was seemed criminal just to cull to, to, a few, to two double page spreads. But the secret to that laughing baby was the gorgeous dad but on the other side of the camera who was jumping up and down and singing songs. Joe, he's a... Uh, yes, and Joe Ellie. and uh, Ali, beautiful yeah. couple. So I can see why that baby's so yeah. cute. Good gene pool. Good gene pool. Very right. good gene yeah. pool. <laughs> so who else is in there? Uh, news reporter uh, Rebecca Wright and her bonnie baby... Scarlett, she's another little one. She's absolutely delectable. We just want to eat those thighs. Very cute. Are you a baby person? <laughs> well, I've had three of them, so yes, I'd yeah, say you like baby person. Little? Yeah. Oh, I go gaga for babies. You, Mike? I've got a fur baby. That's uh, it. Yeah. 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 Not so it's not quite the same. But they're yeah. good when they're little too, and then you say get a little annoying as they grow up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, charming. We've also got a great story on uh, Beth Allen, ex Shorty Street star. She's play uh, a brook on Shorty Street, mm. and uh, she was blonde, very recognisable as, as a blonde. But in the magazine, she's got dark hair. Apparently, she uh, dyed it the day after she left Shorty Street. She so actually looks radically different. You, I wouldn't recognise her in the street, but she looks absolutely gorgeous in the pages of Woman's Day. She's very pregnant. Uh, she's almost nine months pregnant. She's going to have a little boy with her first child for her and Charlie. Oh, that's oh. lovely. Boys are beautiful. Yeah, yeah. She's got a gorgeous little bump too. It looks lovely. You yeah. know, some bumps, yes. I mean, mine just spread everywhere, but hers is just like really nice and gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, very tidy. <laughs> you might want to be in a magazine, that's for sure. Jeez, you're right, you do hardly recognise it, do you? I just saw yeah. that shot. Yeah. yeah, nice. So also our lifestyle pages from Woe to Go. We've got the cutest little fashion shoot, and it was a really nice uh, chance to include some of the extended Women's Day far now in the pages. So it's sort of the, the mothers that are on maternity leave brought in their little babies oh, for our oh, baby yeah. shoots, and a couple of friends too. So that's very cute. It's the cutest fashion shoot I think we've ever had. Oh, that is adorable. Um, that was an interesting uh, shoot day in our studio at Women's Day. Okay. Uh, also Every the recipes, <laughs> there's tips for mum, there's funky stuff to buy for baby. It's absolutely jam-packed. Everyone's getting very clucky. Now this is a bit more sad though because Drew Barrymore has split with her husband. I know. I thought this was the one that she's been married two times before. I thought it was third time lucky yeah. but yeah, no, she's been married for four years to, on screen that to beautiful. Will. Yeah, I know. He was an art consultant um, and his life was very much in New York. She was all over the place, um, you know, in California, but also travelling the world with their wine company and various uh, production. How long were they married for? Four years. But her first two were a lot shorter than that, weren't they? Yeah, even really, 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 really short. Oh, so this one so. must have been going all right then. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, no, I'll, the story gives a lot of detail on what went wrong, but apparently it started going wrong not long after they got married, you know, just com total, total opposites, they say. Uh, but sad for Drew, because we all know her family history and what a, you know, hard start to life she yeah. had, and she really fell in love with his family, quite a traditional family. And uh, of course, they had two lovely little girls together. Um, I think Frankie's three and Oliver's nearly two. So oh, that is sad. Yeah, it is a sad story. And I know that you always have a great story about The Bachelor and Woman's Day. Yeah, we've got a goodie this week. Yes. Congratulations on that show too, Thank by the you. way. Oh, Love that show. Easiest hosting gig in the world. I that reckon. Show. <laughs> you get to go to Hawaii for like two seconds on well, TV. One of your girls <laughs> is on the show. Yes. I know, they haven't, they haven't said that on the show, but um, they call her a, uh, an advertising executive, I think, or something like that. But she is our woman's... Yeah. She, she, she is, looks she's beautiful. For women's Day. That's Kate Cameron, who we love working with at Women's Day. I remember her asking me whether she should do The Bachelor or not, and I was like, you're such a nice girl. If you're a wonderful person, you're only going to come across wonderfully well on TV, and, and she really is. I love Kate. In fact, when I met All 23... She was in my top five straight away. True. Oh. Ah, yeah, no, she's fantastic. Wonderfully down to earth, head screwed on. Wonderful girl. You'll Can't wait ready. to have her back. Yeah, I was going to say, you'll be ready to have her back. back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a, a wonderful woman, that girl. That is very harsh. Well, let's move on a little bit from The Bachelor because uh, it's sort of a bit strange talking about this, but Mike and I are in your magazine this week. Yeah. Yeah. You're quite pleased about that, are you? It's exciting. Mum's going to be so thrilled. Oh, can you tell her to buy 10 copies? <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> Gorgeous photo shoot, by the way, guys. Thanks for that. But yeah, you guys just wouldn't, you just wanted to gossip the whole time. It was a bit tricky for the interview, I understand. <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. you two have history. You should talk to the director here. Oh, he has the same sort of problems yeah, 
happens, know. doesn't he? Yeah. According to the headline, you guys have some hot history back there in Tauranga, back yeah. in the day, and you're talking about your chemistry and how beautiful she is. Oh, but, yes, oh, no. yes, I know. I tell you what, you should grab this <laughs> issue and have a read because there is history, actually. <laughs> yeah, there, there is. is. You've heard it here now. Yeah. There <laughs> is. Thanks, Cito, and everyone here in the audience. <laughs> you have got a copy of Woman's Day, so you can read about those stories and a lot more as well. And we'll see you next week. Look Thank forward you so to much. it. Thanks, Cito. Same. Thank you.